Hi Ronan, um, this is Jack Whitehead uh, from Bath University, just responding to your two YouTube video presentations that I watched at Dublin City University um, last weekend, that was the 9th of May, as quite a number of your colleagues presented their research um, to their tutors, that was Margaret Farron and Yvonne Grotti. And what I want to do is just to say how much, in relation to your first uh, posting, which was all about the uh, mental health recovery program, just how impressed I was with your courage in tackling that kind of issue. Because I know in relation to ethics, um, confidentiality, how difficult it will be for you to uh, carry out the kind of action research where you're trying to intervene in a program and try to understand the nature of the influence of the recovery program. In relation to your second video, I very much want to post this for my own students and also to the uh, e-seminar that I convene for practitioner researchers because the clarity of your, it was about a six minute presentation where you went through four criteria for strengthening the validity of a practitioner research account. And I think this was the best presentation that I'd seen of how Habermas's four criteria of social validity could be applied um, to a practitioner researcher account. So I, I think the whole way in which you've said that this is how you're going to account for yourself in relation to the validity of what you're doing, especially in relation to the values that you're living, was inspirational. So I just want to say how much I appreciated um, that second posting on validity. Now, there was just one point that I, I thought you might look at, and it is in relation to validity um, when you're trying to explain, for example, your influence in the recovery program. And I just want to point out how important uh, expressions of energy with values are in relation to explanations of influence. Uh, we can't do anything without energy. Even now, as I'm expressing what I'm expressing, um, that is accompanied by a certain sense of pleasure in responding to you. Um, I'm very uh, much connected with the kind of energy that I was feeling as I watched your presentations, and I characterize that as a life-affirming energy. It's certainly connected to a life-circulating energy that helps me to motivate myself in what I'm doing. And even now, as I'm expressing uh, my response to you, I hope you're feeling this uh, energy of mine, which is actually related also to my values. My values give a direction to what I do. And when they're accompanied by the energy I feel, I use them as explanatory principles in explanations of influence. And I imagine that you might uh, wish to do the same, because certainly I think you'll find in your relationships in the recovery programs that you are expressing hope, as you do at the end. I love the picture of your youngster right at the end of the presentation because for me that represented that sense of loving recognition which I think many of us need in education uh, to feel a growing sense of our own value and worth uh, in the world in which we live. So I'll just end this uh, video blog now but I'm hoping uh, that we continue the conversation and I've asked Jikan Adler Collins, a lecturer at Fukuoka University in Japan, um, if he'll join me later in making a, another response to you which focuses on that flow of energy with values. So I hope we uh, sustain our conversation. Bye for now.